becoming the duo. That is the face of a Martin. man who fucks the those puppet puppets. Is creepy, as you cannot one tell expect, me otherwise. Especially as we see him through this corrupted footage from the mid eighties. Uh. What nobody knew at the time, however, was that the man behind a marionette was harboring dangerous fantasies towards the young boys who visited Joy Junction. In spring 2013, almost 30 years after Joy oh! Junction, Ronald Brown appeared on the radar of Homeland Security agents investigating Michael Arnett, <sighs> who had been communicating and exchanging CP. Now, this... I'm not going to say it. Through chat rooms and instant messengers online. One of these services included Yahoo Chat Instant Messenger, where Arnett and Brown discussed with one another their plans to kidnap, dismember, and cannibalize young children and toddlers. Tra okay. I was close. Okay, who's this dude? Ronald William Brown. Transcripts of these chat logs were included in the affidavit, which was submitted by an HSI agent in support of an arrest warrant against Ronald Brown. And is one of the most twisted things I've ever read, which is written about a real life child. When acting on this warrant, agents seized electronic media in Brown's home, including a computer, CDs, DVDs, microdisc, VHS tapes, mini VHS tapes, and a thumb drive. Agents proceeded to preview evidence on site, confirming that the media contained extremely graphic CP. Oh, okay. According to James D. Whitmore of the U.S. District Court um, in Tampa, I'll save this for a dark night. I'm going to save that for a dark night.